This is Sarita. Talk. Welcome to your reading. This is a reading for Gemini. We're going to see what's coming in for the year for you. I hope you're excited because I am. Let's get started and let's get jump right into it. <laughs> okay, hope you are all doing well. Okay, so I've already pre-shuffled your cards, so we're just going to see what's coming in. So let's see. Okay, so I know January's already gone, but we're going to see what's coming from January up to April. Okay, so let's see what's coming in. Oh, okay, that's too many cards. So just give me one card, Spirit, one card. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's see. So what have we got? Oh, lovely. So we have got the Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles for you, Gemini, is showing you're going to be content. You're going to feel like you've put in some investment or you're going to be working towards investment um, as well. You're reaching a goal. You've had maybe even achieved it already. Maybe you've bought something as well that is investment. This could be like assets like house or you know, home or something like that or, you know, uh, land or, you know, into properties, things like that. Basically gold. I don't know. In, you know, it could be shares whatever you've done something big investment or you're working towards this basically this could be even working towards your pension lifestyle um that you want in your life um the kind of lifestyle you want which is going to be very abundant um here so it looks really good and maybe you're concentrating as well even with family um as well or you're going to be very committed of what you're doing as well but this is very in the tangible tangible sorry um realm um basically so the physical realm that you're going to be really seeing and showing up what you need in your life so this is brilliant so the first half of the year you are going to be definitely feeling grounded and really pleased with yourself if not you're working towards this so this is brilliant we are in the year eight okay so this is wonderful as well very abundant year of things that you want um as well and you're working towards um as well and also the year of the dragon as well so a lot of luck is abundance here you are already starting on a very very positive energy here so this is brilliant okay so can you show me now what's coming in for uh between may and august can you show me oh okay didn't waste no time lovely love that okay so we've got the page of cups so you're going to be all oh, in your feelings here in your feelings you're going to be maybe showing how you care about something um really passionately as well very sensitive maybe you'll be thinking about others or you want to express love so you're going to be this time of this year this is kind of like the summer months i suppose you know of the and second part of the year that you're really going to know what you want and or you're going to receive this um as well that somebody wants to do this to you but a lot of expressing love here so it's really really caring um and just being your emotions so wonderful so gemini I, I can see you really going for this and it's gonna be good for you uh, really really good for you so okay all right so show me now for between september and december what's coming in what can we expect for gemini okay december sorry <laughs> september to december can you show me please give me a card give me one card please spirit okay all right so we have got the knight of wands now, the Knight of Wands is, again, another moving energy. So you've got a lot of um, movement. Again, the Page. Oh, I just realised as well. I said the Knight, but this is the Page of Cups. So Page of Cups is, again, introducing someone's flirting with you. Again, still in their feelings, but they're introducing things to you or something that you're passionate about or you'll be more flirtatious as the, you know, the sign that you are. You're very lighthearted and funny, but also somebody wants to bring this to you maybe as well. So there's a lot of flirtation here. Or you're going to be just quite sensitive. Maybe it might take things personally as well, um, um, emotionally, but no, it's not good. So this is the introduction. Sorry, excuse me. Page of Cups. Now, the Knight of Wands is somebody as well moving really fast. So you want to go to things that you're really impatient about um, as well. A new adventure, embarking on a new adventure, basically. Also quite excitement, um, a lot of fire, hair, energy here. So it looks really good. So you've got a lot of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got Page of Cups. is again, Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And Knight of Wands, you've got Fire, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Um, so a lot, again... This is showing that the last part of the year that you are going to be really on fire, going for what you want, not going to take no for answer or someone's going to be doing this for you in a nice way. I hope, I, you know, this can come in all aspects of your life. This could be do with family. Um, again, um, well, when I was at all aspects, work, career, love, anything like that, basically. But you're just going to know what you want. OK, so you're just not going to waste time. So that's brilliant. So some guidance, show me, please. Give me guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. Guidance, show me. Give me a card. Oh, lovely. Okay. So we've got generosity. Oh, the sign that you are. And what have we got underneath the deck? We've got flow. Beautiful. So you're going to be in a great flow here. 
So the generosity here, you're just going to know what you want. You've got the number four as well. So anybody that's connected to four is going to be really good for you. Also, the 40 could be like around the age, could be anything like that. But we usually do with numerology is about the number, single number four. So four may be really like connected to you as well. Like I said, we're in an abundant year, the year of eight um, as well. So you're just going to be giving this out, but also attracting um, as well, giving all the rewards that you want. So generosity is everything, you know, here for you. Oh my gosh, it looks really good. I've seen this as the sun as well. So it's going to be very bright, going to be really illuminated, really attractive um, as well. And I just thought people going to be very drawn to you. So it looks really good. Okay, so give me some more guidance here, please. What's going to be inspirations going to be happening for Gemini? Okay, inspirations, please. Give me some... Give me some cards here, please. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, we've got two. Okay. So the first one we've got, my positive energy leaves a powerful impression on the world. Well, I just said that. I just said that. So yeah, it's going to be really, really positive. Really, really positive for you that this year is going to make you shine and your people's going to feel it. There's always a solution of the highest good. Definitely. There is always a solution of the highest good. Absolutely. So you're going to be the Gemini you are, always in your headspace, know what to do, very intelligent sign that you are. And you're just going to just lead from your intuition and take things forward how you need things to be. So it's going fantastic for you. I'm really, really happy for you, Gemini, because I feel everything's just working out the way you need it to be. And it's just showing that you're analysing and... Um, yeah, it's going going well um, as you are. Very, like, you know, Mercury sign you are. But yeah, it looks fantastic. Absolutely. I'm really, really happy for you. Really not much I can say. It's really, really straightforward I'm seeing for you. And uh, you've got to be really that kinder spirit that you are, you know. Guide us, please, on colour here. What have we got around you for the year? Show me, please, spirit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right, so show me brilliance we've got here wonderful brilliance discover your sparkle oh this can't get no better honestly number 26 uh which boils down to seven eight yes yeah, so eight again all about abundance it's looking fantastic brilliance oh my god well i just said that you lot are very very brilliant of what you do um and how you are you know you're you know air sign so you're just going to be really clear of what you want and you're just going to be in your brilliance People's going to respect that, see that, realise that you are um, as well. And uh, I feel you're going to just shine really, really bright this year of like well, knowing what you want and being very really clear about it for yourselves as well. Um, as well, maybe going to discover and um, want to become more brilliant than what you are as well. So you'll just be really working on that. But because there's a sense of discovery saying here. So discover your sparkle. What makes you shine? What makes you being the person that you are? And, you know, take forward with that. So it looks absolutely good oh i'm really really happy for you guys honestly i wish you all the best but yeah i'm gonna leave and end your reading here i hope you've enjoyed it um please subscribe um on the channel you know to keep connected and see what more videos can come up for you but yeah i wish you all the best and um love and light to you all okay bye